Hello my sweeties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Celise, and thank you for joining my spooky little family. It's May, so you guys know I have to have a new theme. It is Body Addy Month. That means we're doing body horror all month long. <laughs> I might regret this later, but we're really in this now. In today's video, we will be talking about Tusk. Let's get into the video. Directed by Kevin Smith, Tusk follows a brash and arrogant podcaster who gets more than he bargained for when he travels to Canada to interview a mysterious recluse who has a rather disturbing fondness for walruses. This film stars a fave of mine, Justin Long, Michael Parks, Haley Joel Osment, and Genesis Rodriguez. This film is... <laughs> So strange and hilarious, but it's also a film that has these great scenes that are legitimately creepy and disturbing. And you know what? Call me bias or whatever, but I'm just a girl who loves Kevin Smith movies. Everyone in this cast absolutely understood the assignment. They knew exactly what Kevin Smith was going for, and they were all just having so much fun, and I feel like that really exudes out of the screen. Our leading men are so great in this film. Justin Long is one of my favorite actors of all time. I've not only had a crush on Justin Long for like forever since I was younger, but he is so incredibly good at what he does. Justin Long to me is always funny without having to try and he is so good at playing both the hopeless romantic who doesn't get the girl or the asshole who never wants to settle down and is super cocky. In this case, he is the asshole and he sells every single second of it. All while being absolutely hilarious, he is just always a 10 out of 10 for me. In this film, he sold me in every single scene, especially later in the film when things get really, really wild. I was really impressed. The chemistry between him and Michael Parks is one of my favorite things about this. Speaking of that, we have to talk about how great Michael Parks was as Howard Howe. He was genuinely terrifying to me. He just gave off the creepiest vibes and I loved it. Even when the film starts getting goofy and wacky, they both just sell it so well. <laughs> I can also say that Haley Joel Osment is really awesome too and I mean obviously because the sixth sense I mean iconic I honestly wish he was in more films because the talent that he has he's so good and just like everybody had great chemistry <laughs> I am like, I am obsessed with good chemistry, with great performances, like this film. They just give me that, like give me everything. Genesis Rodriguez, I do wanna say, I absolutely loved her. I had never seen her before and I haven't seen her since seeing this movie. So I don't even know if she's like working on anything, but her monologue and crying scene, Woo! 10 out of 10, girl! Take me to the master class. Honestly, everything she was saying in that monologue, <laughs> it was hitting me a little too hard. I was like, oh no, baby. This might be a little too relatable for me. Okay, so let's get right into some specific things I liked. As Letterboxd user Ava said, I need someone who's okay with the walrus fight scene and just this movie in general being on in the background while I lose my virginity. I too felt that this movie was a lot of fun. This is my fourth time watching this film and I have to be real, the more I watch it, the more I like it. When I first watched this film, it was super jarring. Even now that I think about it, it's still pretty jarring. I honestly just really like that this film feels both like a Kevin Smith movie and a regular horror movie just like accidentally cut together. <laughs> Now, I am not going to sit here and say to you all that this film is for everybody because it absolutely is not. This film has a very specific style and tone that can be very off-putting for some people. But I gotta be real, I heard three things. Kevin Smith, Justin Long, and a horror movie. And I was like, okay, my body is ready. I am here. Kevin Smith has never been one to do what everybody else is doing. And he proves that even further with this film. <laughs> to me, this film is definitely original, 
creepy and funny in its own right, and it all works somehow on the screen. So he's doing something right. Also, trivia moment, Kevin Smith was actually inspired to make this film after finding a prank ad on Gumtree, which is basically like the British version of Craigslist where a homeowner was offering a room to stay in for free as long as the lodger agreed to wear a walrus suit. The guy who posted this ad was actually a huge Kevin Smith fan and Kevin Smith later hired him to be a producer on this film. <laughs> to be honest, we'd love to see it. And now, the scene that did it for me was when both Wallace and Howard are basically at the dinner table and this is after like Wallace wakes up and he realizes that this man is crazy and they start screaming very intensely at each other. It was both terrifying and weirdly hilarious. Like, yes. <laughs> That's a great horror movie for me. If I can both be scared and laugh, sold. All right, you guys, my overall thoughts on Tusk is that this is definitely a film that I think you have to watch at least once. Like, I feel like you have to give this one a shot. It is definitely, obviously, disturbing. I think that if you're a fan of other Kevin Smith films and you haven't seen this one yet, you definitely should give it a go. And to be honest, the performances, the way it's shot, it looks good, the acting is great. There really isn't more I need in a film for me to be like, okay. And with that, I am going to be giving Tusk three and a half levs out of five. If you would like to watch Tusk, it is available to watch right now on Showtime Anytime here in the US. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me a lot. And be sure to click that little notification bell to be up to date every single time I upload. And let me know in the comments, have you seen Tusk? Did you enjoy it? Did you not really dig it? Were you disappointed? Are you excited? for the third one, which is like Moose Jaws, but we haven't heard anything about it. Is that even still happening? If you know the tea, let me know down below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.